Um, so the year before, I spent a lot of time with Miss Farley. Um, I was in two bells with her. She was my homeroom teacher. And she did the yearbook and the newspaper. I was on the newspaper. Um, and she was the first person to sign my yearbook, actually. She, she signed it on the main page. And um, you can see it right there, what she wrote. She wrote, Dear Corey, I love you. You've been an asset to the class. I wish you well in later years and hope you will pursue a career in math. <laughs> love, Miss Barr, 5688. So that was, um, you know, seven months before she died, I guess. When you look at that, what do you think? One of the things that I've kind of come to realize is, is how much I clearly loved Mrs. Farley as a teacher and how much time I spent with her. I was in, in Two Bells. I was in Newspaper. She was my homeroom teacher in seventh grade. She clearly was the teacher that I liked the best. And I didn't really realize how profound that was till I read this yearbook quote, till I, um, you know, I saw, you know, this is the inaugural edition of the Atlantic Shores Christian School newspaper, and here's my... I have a joke column on the end, um, Corey's Corner. Um, but, you know, she, she gave me her copy. Like, this is, um, if you, yeah. Did you hear about the bee that went into the ear of a cow and ended up in the milk? And the punchline? I don't remember. It went in one ear and out the other. other. Yeah. Well, I was 12. Corey. I was 12, yeah. <laughs>